Hello again, um, the other crankcase half is now off this uh, engine. Um, I had to remove this brass piece from the end of the crank to remove this half. Um, and I asked for some help on the station engine forums and uh, thank you very much to uh, all those who replied, I do appreciate that. Um, in the end, I uh, found out it's a screw fit, so uh, this messed about a little bit, a little bit of heat and um, just gently wiggled it and I could feel it was just starting to turn a little bit um, and uh, that came off quite easily in the end so that's good that's the crank so I think this is going to have to go to an engineering shop to sort these bearings out this is something I can't do myself I'll clean it all up first and um, in progress from there. Right, I've made a start on cleaning up the uh, crankcase halves. Um, I was going to leave uh, the crankcases bare metal, but I think I am going to repaint them now. Uh, so that's come out quite well. A few little bits of paint there. It seems to be really stubborn. And this one I just started. You can see the difference there. I found this engine as a Mark 8C on the strength of what was actually on the crankshaft. Um, YouTube viewer kindly posted a comment saying it was an 11C and uh, with that and doing a bit of research WZCP on the rear crankcase half is actually um, says this engine is an 11C. So uh, sorry I haven't replied to you. Um, I'm in a bit of trouble replying to uh, comments so I do apologise for that and anyone else I haven't replied to. It's not intentional. Uh, so yeah, it's a uh, Villiers Mark 11C. Right, I just spent some time cleaning the carb. Um, gone over the outside, the metal polish. I'm quite pleased with the uh, finish there. And the insides, been cleaned out in petrol, dried off. Full cables been oiled. Uh, I need to get some seals for it. Um, I think I mentioned, I think it was in the first video about this engine that um, someone had painted the um, float bowl. Uh, I was hoping that was going to be brass as well, but it's not. So uh, I don't know if I can source another one, one of them, or if not, um, I might paint that the same colour as I'm going to paint the engine. Um, at the moment, I'm looking on maroon. I think that's going to look quite good. So I something to think about there anyway. So that's the carb. Hello, um, just spent quite a bit of time cleaning up the top part of the cowling. Just need to sort out the screw for that little plate there. But, uh, I think it's looking pretty good. Well, I think the next bit I'm going to clean up this piece here. Um, just screwed it to a piece of wood. A couple of self tapping screws so I can put it in the vice. It'll be a lot easier to go over with a wire brush and electric drill. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Right, I think that's come out quite well. Um, went over this plate of a wire brush on an electric drill and then painted the uh, lettering for Villiers and the uh, direction arrow in maroon, which will be the same colour as what the uh, crankcase halves are going to be. Uh, I'll probably do the um, tank the same colour. Although I might keep that as black, I'm not too sure at the moment. So that's that.
One thing I didn't mention in uh, an earlier video, uh, when I started stripping the engine down and moved the barrel, um, the piston was in the wrong way. It's a deflector top piston. So this slope here, that should be on this side of the exhaust and it was the other way around. So I think someone's had this engine apart when you think, you know, the uh, magneto nut wasn't tight and the back plate wasn't tight and this was in the wrong way. So uh, I think it's just a good job I did take all this apart and have a look at it. Uh, still plenty to do. Um, I think I've finished the crankcase halves as much as I can. Put it there for a minute. Um, They're going to be painted anyway, I'm just going to see maybe if I can scrape these little bits out here or at least get them rough but some of this paint is unbelievably stubborn and other parts of it come off really easily so um, that's that to do um, what else done a bit more other oh, parts of the cowling but it's just little brief little bits really let's put it down there let's see it one bit there. Um, it's about all I can do on that with the uh, wire brush on the electric drill. Um, I think the rest has to be done by hand. And I made a brief start on this piece here. But um, I think I've had enough for today. So that's it, I think, for now. Right, made a start on uh, removing the paint from the base, from the stand. It's coming quite easily. It's going to be maroon. Uh, that's going to be the same colour as a crankcase and I think the tank now as well uh, I think this will look good against the maroon I, won't, I haven't taken this off it's just easy to clean up while it's on the extra base here but I think I'm to a point now we'll have to do that so we move that and uh, just do this last bit here and anything that's underneath and that so that's that right that's all the paint removed uh, let's give it a wipe over Remove any dust and loose bits that remain in, uh, get it indoors, let it warm up and I'll give it a coat of uh, red oxide. Obviously this bit here will be left as it is. It's quite nice.